One of my recent videos talked about creating a half drop repeat in Photoshop. So this week, we're gonna talk about creating half drops in Illustrator. And you're gonna find it a lot easier because Illustrator has a built-in function that makes this really simple. The first thing you'll want to do is organize your motifs, including a background color if you have one. They don't have to be an exact repeat yet, but they should be in a general area of where you want them to be. Once you've placed your elements, you'll want to get into pattern editing mode. To get into this mode, select your motifs and go to Object, Pattern, Make. Or you can go to the Window menu, bring up the Pattern Options panel, and from the hamburger, choose Make Pattern. Using either option, a message will appear indicating that your new pattern plus any changes you're about to make will be saved in the Swatches panel. Once you get into the pattern editing mode, the pattern will automatically begin to repeat across the page. You'll also notice a bounding box around the edge of the motifs. This is the definition box and what will define the edges of your pattern tile. In the pattern options box, you can name your pattern if you want to. And underneath the name is the tile type. This is where you'll define whether you want a basic repeat or a half drop or some other type of repeating pattern. The default is a grid, which would be your basic side-by-side -side repeat. And to create a half drop, you'll change the tile type to brick by column and the brick offset to half. You can size the tile with the art so that the tile size adjusts with the boundaries of your artwork. Or if you wanted to increase the space around the repeat, you can uncheck the option to size tile to art and manually change the width and height of your tile. I usually do this if I feel like the motifs are getting a little too crowded. And this is also a great option if you need to create production ready artwork and want to ensure that your tile will still fit on a standard size roller after you've made your updates. The other two helpful options in the pattern options panel are the overlap and the copies. The copies option allows you to choose the number of times you'll see the pattern tile repeating across your screen. You can also choose to dim the extra tiles and show or hide the tile edges or swatch bounds. The overlap is helpful when you're updating motifs in your repeating tile. If you add any elements that overlap the edges of the tile, the portion that overlaps the edge of the tile boundaries will show on the opposite side of the tile. And in the pattern mode, you only need to overlap motifs on one side of the tile and it will automatically show on the opposite side. The overlap will determine which motifs will appear on top. For example, if you leave the setting as the default, left in front, any motifs that are cut off on the right side will show above any motif it overlaps on the left side, and vice versa if you choose right in front. The same theory applies when you choose top or bottom in front. So you're able to see your updates live as you make them, and once you're finished, Click done in the gray bar across the top and your new print repeat is already saved and ready to use in the swatches panel. All you need to do now is find a sketch that you want to put your new print into. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.